ever get back to anywhere near that level. And, and maybe Watson's the next one in that line. The last guy I want to talk about, mainly you know, his name comes up here for because he's got like that familiar name. Like a couple other guys towards the end of the draft, and that is Ron Harper Jr., He's 22. He's a 6'5 guard forward from Rutgers. Of course, his old man is Ron Harper. Senior, which we all, uh, we're all well aware of who Ron Harper is, um, is a guy who's yeah, a senior, older player. He yeah, shot 40% from three on a pretty decent volume, 44% uh, attempt rate. Is there anything there to suggest... NBA rotation contributor is he getting you know, a twenty spot ranking boost because of his name? Like, is he viable at you know he, that position and that shooting to have any sort of NBA contribution? Yeah, I think uh, I I believe in Ron Harper as a guy. Like, I I don't I'm, I wouldn't quibble with somebody taking him in in the back end of the second round, but I also think he's probably more likely to go undrafted than anything else, and then just sign a deal and see how he plays in the summer league. But um, He's an interesting guy to gauge because especially like last year, he really burst on to me uh, as a as a as a draftable prospect early on in the year. And then his shot really fell off, especially as conference play um, kind of unfolded. And um, he I mean, he was averaging he was looking like a national player of the year candidate the first 10, 10 games at Rutgers and then kind of came down back to earth. I still think he's a quality player. But I think a lot's going to be a little bit like we talked about with EJ. Like, I think he's somebody who measured even smaller than I was hoping. I think he ended up around like six four and a half, six five, when he measured at the NBA Combine. He, he does have really good length. But um, he's not somebody who has, like, typical athleticism. So he's not, like, crazy quick laterally. Um, he's not the fastest guy in general. But he is, like, obviously extremely strong. But I think the question just becomes how much our team's – bought into somebody like six six five who is really more of a four right now like he does have some handle um he does have some ability to create out of pick and roll but also that he's just not the level of scorer or creator right now that he's going to be a guy demanding those kinds of or reps in the nba so i think a lot's just going to be what can he slot into as an off-ball player and because that's something we haven't really seen from him a whole ton recently um i do think his shot getting to where it was at this year was awesome like especially off volume 39.8%, like he mentioned, like he hadn't shot higher than 35% um, for a season before then. He, he has like totally worked on his shot and and worked out, worked and repped out some of the mechanics to make it look a lot better and, and just be more viable. His free throw percentage has gotten better every year. Um, I think that he's definitely somebody worth taking a shot on and seeing who he could be, but I think it's, um, it's going to be very much dependent on on the team that he goes to for sure. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether that name recognition, I guess, means anything. It probably won't. But the mm -hmm. Im improvement in the shooting level g at least gives NBA teams something to think about, whether that's in the draft process, summer league, signing free agent, camp contracts, whatever it is. Ron Harper's a guy that you now know a little bit about. And Mark.